units of strains so units of strains so any cases so for strains there are no units for strain no units guys you may get doubt so why sir for stresses we are having units for whereas for strains why we don't have any units uh, so here i am there don't worry i will explain why because for example so what are the units for stresses as we know stress is nothing but load acting per unit area so what are the units for loads newtons or kilonewtons we know that newtons or kilonewtons divided by area so what are the units for area meter square or mm square or centimeter square so simply we take mm square or meter square so units for stresses are nothing but newton per meter square or mm square newton per mm square or kilonewton per meter square or kilonewton per millimeter square whereas when it comes to strain as we know strain is nothing but change in length by original length or deformation of a body to some some length is called as strain so what are the units for uh, length change in length simply we take mm length also meters or mm millimeters so meters by meters we get one so no units simply for strain we don't have any units whereas for stresses we are having units types of stresses under types of stresses it is uh, again divided into two types one is tensile stress second one is compressive stress so let us have a discussion on tensile stress tensile stress so what is meant by tensile stress let us consider an object let us apply uniform load on this side at a at point b let us apply two equal and opposite pulls so i am i am going to pull at point a to some certain distance i am going to pull at point b to certain certain distance so what happens on the application of two equal and opposite pulls on a body the body is subjected to a tensile force or tensile stress so on the application of two equal and opposite pulls the body tends to change its length this is called as tensile stress simply when a section is subjected to a two equal and opposite pulls then the body tends to increase in its length as so let us take an example as we know a body which is having a length l so i'm going to apply two equal and opposite pulls or force of p kilonewtons p kilonewtons as we go on increasing the load or uh, pulls on the opposite sides of the member what happens it tends to increase its length so it, it, it is going to change its a length in this way, in this particular direction so it is very clear that length has increased and area has decreased so the cross sectional area of the body is reduced in the case of tensile stresses length of the body is increased and cross sectional area of the body is decreased simply tensile stress is nothing but when a section is subjected to two equal and opposite pulls two equal and opposite pulls then the body tends to increase in its length and the cross section area of the body is reduced so that is an example for your tensile stress compressive stress again let us take a same example we are having a body at point a and point b so in this case we are going to apply two equal and opposite pushes so i am going to push the body from this side i am going to push the body from this side see what happens there is a compressive force or compressive stresses are induced or developed in this case so simply when you are going to apply two equal and opposite pushes on the body the body tends to decrease in its length and increasing in its cross sectional area so again let us take an example having a body of length l so i'm going to apply a uniform load or compressive load or two equal and opposite pushes p kilonewtons see what happens the body tends to change its direction there is a decrease in its length and increasing its cross sectional area simply when a section is subjected to two equal and opposite pushes in this case two equal and opposite pushes 
then the body tends to shorten its length and the cross sectional area of the body is increased so what is compressive stress on the application of two equal and opposite pushes in this case pushes whereas in our ten, uh, tensile stresses we are going to apply two equal and opposite pulls so please don't get confused in tensile force we are going to apply two equal and opposite pulls in this case in compressive stresses we are going to apply two equal and opposite pushes so there is in, in this case there is an increase in cross sectional area and decrease in the length whereas in a previous case there is increasing in the length and decrease in the cross sectional area